Hello, it's Rachel. Hi, hi, hi. If you're here joining me today for Pause Friday, give me a shout out. So glad you're here. Today, we're moving into practice for pausing, intentional shifts in behavior. Just taking a deep breath, starting with your feet on the ground. Let me know if you're here. Go ahead and type in the chat that you're here. I would love to say hi to you and just know in the field of our container today. And if you're watching the replay, go ahead and just type in replay, air quotes, replay, so that I also know that you are here after the fact. I know everyone has life in session. Sometimes we just cannot make what we'd like to in person. I totally get it. And for those who are here, one of the things that I really value about breath work is the quality of presence in a live session. There's nothing like it. And I, on purpose, go to live breath work with my trainer. I make sure I'm there in the class. I, I do as much as I can live because it's okay recorded. It's, it's what it is. And I, I've watched breath work that I've gone through before recorded, but you know how there's just that that certain something when you're in a live room with a speaker, or even if right now you're live, you might be very keyed in or, or learn, like, like there's an energy created from not just me, but everyone in this field. And that's what breath work is. It's the exchange of energy as we inhale and exhale. It's also way more than that. It's not just breathing. And I think this goes so hand in hand with leadership because guess what? If we aren't breathing, maybe we're not breathing because we're in fear. And I mean, by we're, we're obviously breathing because we're alive, but how many times do you hold your breath or breathe up in your upper, upper part of your chest, which is really more fear-based? There's so much that you can breathe in and expand here. So we're going to go through an integrative session. All that means is the actual breathing of it is less than eight minutes long. You will not enter into deeper states of the, uh, the, the states of breath work, like meaning the, the pH system that changes in your body, the, the, the blood that will be more oxygenated has different impacts on your system. That's a meditative session. That's more than eight minutes long. We don't, we're not going to do that today, but I do do that. And it's amazing. I have clients right now who are going through that and are, are just having big breakthroughs. Actually, it's been pretty amazing to be part of it. So what we're going to do today, again, if you're here, just say hello, we're going to just sit in our chairs, uncross your arms, uncross your legs. I am going to share uh, some music. So you can know that there will be some music played, all good. And I'm gonna walk you through this. You don't have to think about a thing. Just allow your body to think of, to just be, let your body breathe and do the work, right? So here's what our mantra will be. Every breath session has a mantra. And our mantra today, I was thinking about this before the call. The mantra is, I am ready. That's what came through to me today. I am ready. And I invite you to take that mantra on. If you have a different mantra that you would like to use, then by all means, that's okay too. But I invite you to try on, I am ready. As we do the breath pattern, the breath pattern is going to be essentially one or two different ways of breathing. The first one's gonna be called the halo active breath. <laughs> so the, Think about that for a second. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Like if you were right next to me, you would hear me and I would hear you. You can let out an, an exhale, like a sound. Ah, releasing that energy. Energy moves through the body in three ways. Breath, sound, and movement. So the third part is if you wanna move at any time, like you wanna shake your hands or move your neck or roll your jaw, you can put your own hands on your belly or on your heart or just re like building in, or I should say uh, relaxing your jaw. It can be really 
great to move energy that's stuck, meaning tension, stress, all of that stuff that is kept in our tight, tight muscles when we sit all day or we're not really active uh, because we're at work or sitting like I am a lot of the day, things like that. Okay, so it, that's the halo active. Go ahead and try that a few times. Ah, and I'll be guiding you through this. So not worry, don't worry about remembering anything. And then we're going to move to a shorter breath, which is the bliss breath, which is inhaling short in through the nose, exhaling through the nose. And you're going to, you're going to move your stomach. So it's like snapping in. Okay. So give that a bunch of tries just on your, and, and it's actually challenging, right? Like this is the Yogi breath of fire. And it's meant to clear energy out, which is why you're ready. Right. So they go hand in hand with the mantra, I think. And then we'll return to the halo active. We'll call it a day. We might do a top hold at the back, at the end of this. Inhaling through your mouth and through your nose, and just holding that breath at the top and try this with me if you can right now. <sighs> Exhale through the mouth. All right, that's it. It's so simple. Don't worry about getting it right. There's no right or wrong. You got this and I've got you. All right. So let's go ahead and uncross your arms and uncross your feet. We're gonna get started. Just normal, but natural breathing here. And play some music or nature songs. Close your eyes if that feels good for you. Noticing your presence. Ah, letting out a sigh if that feels good for you. Body. Imagine you're going down through the floorboards where your feet are, feet firmly on the ground, and you just imagine like a big oak tree, roots going down into the earth, are rooted and grounded with. Know that you are in complete control of this situation in this time together. If you at any time would like to speed up or slow down the breathing, that's your invitation. That's that's all, all good it's about what works for you. So let's begin the breath, inhaling the halo active. Inhale through your nose. Close your eyes and just keep them closed and imagine this invitation. I am ready. I am ready. And saying those words to yourself or out loud if that feels good for you. Letting out a sigh of that. Noticing in your body where you feel opening. I am ready. Just noticing on the end of that sentence. As you continue to inhale, continue to exhale. 
leading the cycle of breath. Going deeper. in your curiosity what are you ready for you what is that for you are you ready to receive are you ready for adventure are you ready for space and rest it's all good and you don't even need to know just knowing you are ready is enough letting out a big sigh here if it feels good ah closing your eyes keeping them closed if that feels good or just slightly open gazing ah. I'm ready. Keeping that breath deep, going deeper as you feel called, letting your body breathe itself. Knowing this is exactly where you are supposed to be. for what's next, for right now, for acceptance. Just breathing into the silence as you switch into that bliss breath. And when you feel ready, just going into that shorter breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Going at the pace that feels good for you. Snapping your belly as you exhale. That's it, I am ready, keep going. Whatever no longer serves you, you can let go of here. It's so so safe. Oh, wow. Couple more. And then the next one, just inhale. With the top. Letting your body decide when to exhale. Don't worry about anything else other than your body letting you know when it's time. Go back to the halo active breath. Back to the halo active breath. Inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Are you trusting? Are you ready for breathing into that space? This is where the healing is. And your body do the work, just simply following your breath. Go through one more round. On your call, when you feel ready, (laughs) 
letting go of anything that is no longer needed in your environment. Your internal landscape is cleansing and clarifying with every single breath, exhaling what is no longer needed to hold on to. Keep room for your readiness. Ten more of these ever feels good. Releasing that breath pattern is coming into that regular two-part breath again, inhaling through your nose. <sighs> Maybe letting out a sigh, just noticing your body here. I am ready to receive. Acknowledging. There is wisdom and wonder in your breath. Ah, letting out any breaths, exhaling, sighs, moving any parts of your body that might feel stuck. Job from side to side if that feels good for you. I'm gonna do one more this breath. On the next inhale, so be switching into that shorter brisk breath. Clearing out stuck energy, stuck frequencies. Suck thoughts and critic thoughts and anything else that no longer serves you. Activating your inner leader. You're brilliant. This feels good for you. Continue. If not, you can return to your natural breathing now. I'm going to take one exhale, slowly exhaling. And move it. Get ready. So, inhale with me a deep inhale and hold it at the top. Holding at the top. Fast to see what you can sense in your readiness. Thanks that you are in. Holding all is well. Feeling the connection as you exhale to the crown. And just natural breathing here, just going back to your normal breath. Knowing that you're back here in the room, just taking a few normal breaths. <clears throat> just notice if any energy has shifted for you. Anything that feels different. Maybe your nervous system feels different. Just noticing that with your sensations. Maybe in your body, there's certain tightness or heat or cold. It's all good. And if you'd like to take a hand now, I invite you to place it on your heart. Just feeling your heart connection. Maybe you hear your, feel your heartbeat or hear your heartbeat. Mm, so important to feel connected to yourself. Feeling the chair beneath you, the feet on the floor. When you feel ready, wiggling your toes, taking your hand away, wiggling your fingers and opening your eyes and coming back into the room. There it is, into the room. 
I feel shifts too. Yes, I feel shifts. Lovely. And I invite you to reflect for yourself. This doesn't need to be shared, but if you feel called to share it in the chat, then you can. No problem. Or if you would like to take a journal or a piece of paper nearby, it can even be a post-it. Just write down anything you'd like to record for yourself. Reflecting on this experience. Breathwork is not a verbal experience, so it can be challenging to find words. Maybe they're there, maybe not. It's all good. The key is knowing that you have an experience that is completely yours and that you have been helping your cellular memories know each and every 30 trillion of your cells know that you are ready. Isn't that cool? Ah, and if you're willing to share, yes, invite you to share in the chat. Thank you, Rachel, for sharing. And this last part is just acknowledging anything uh, you feel called to express gratitude for. Is it yourself for being here, to watch this, to take a time out and pause to practice breath work today? Breath work is insanely powerful. And maybe you experienced that today. And if you didn't, that's okay too. It's different and unique every single time. And it doesn't need to take that long. It could be 10 power breaths. Today we took a while, but we did a big setup and an out, a, a, an exit out, which takes time too. And that's important to kind of transition, by the way. You, do, you want to do that. Ah. <sighs> So who is here now is my question for you. Who is here now? Who are you here now as? Obviously you're you, but what part of you is different? Or maybe there's multiple parts, or maybe you just have a sense of feeling different. It's all good. So thank you for being with me today. Unpause Friday, yay. Ah, so good. And if you would like more breath work, if this is something that resonates with you and you're like, oh my God, help me get this more. I really like it. I want more. Uh, great, because you're in the right place. You wouldn't have to wait and do it this way, but I invite you to book a call with me because we can talk about potentially what could be a good fit for you. I do offer one-on-one -on -one private breath work in the meditative sessions or the integrative sessions like we do here, but the meditative sessions are another level of this. So if you would be interested, you can go book a call with me at tinyurl.pausenow and learn more about breath work, how breath work might help you when it comes to feeling more motivated, more confident, or whatever the challenges are for you. I currently have a woman who is working on fertility and she's doing breath work and it's quite incredible. It can be for stress, it can be for healing. There's no uncovered ground, but the key is it does things that your mind cannot solve. It heals trauma. What can I say? There's really nothing better than that because who doesn't want to heal trauma? And we all have it, right? Ah, thank you so much for being here. It's an honor. It's an honor to facilitate this for you. So thank you. And if you got something out of this today, just let me know. Say, say I, I'm ready. Just say, I just... Claim your mantra, I am ready. And I will see you soon. My next pause Friday is right before Memorial Day. So we're gonna uh, have an earlier one. We're gonna do it actually at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. And 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern might be my new time. So if you like that time better, if that will work better for you in terms of being live with me so we can do this kind of stuff live, let me know because I'm, I'm kind of taking an informal poll if that's a time that works for people. 3 p.m. Eastern seems a little late for a Friday sometimes, but I think 
it might be a little earlier. So we'll try it next week. All right, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Happy Friday. Don't forget to pause in service to your doing. And you are ready. Bye.